Hi, I'm Louis from AAA Backstage, and tonight I'm here with the Baby Seal Club, Ewan, Dimity, Nick, and Andy. First of all, I'd like to ask you this, how do you guys all meet and form? Despite appearances, uh, I might look like I'm early 20s, but I'm actually a lot older than that. And I've been in bands for a very long time. Uh, and I moved over from Scotland two years ago. Left a band over there that I really loved. Uh, one of the things that I miss most about that. So the first thing I did when I got to Australia was start trying to put a band together. Okay. And a few false starts, a few crazy people, a few incompetent people, and eventually settled on Nick. And he was actually both of those. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> so Didn't see that coming. Hit the, <laughs> hey, right in the target. <laughs> um, and then we had a couple of false starts as well with a, a different drummer that was okay, but then he went missing. Then we found Andy. Then we had some more false starts. He went missing players. as well. So, yeah, he was never really there. <laughs> and then eventually, three months ago? Four months? Four months, yeah, we found this <laughs> charming young lady here, Dimity. And thus the lineup was complete. Now, talking about the Baby Seals, you do have an exclusive tonight. You've changed your name. Yeah. To Seals. 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 Tell us a bit about the name change and why you've changed the name. Kind of, it was coming for a, coming for a little while. Um, there's actually, there's a Baby Seal Club in America that we often get confused with um, on YouTube. Okay. And they're, um, well, you can look them up for yourself, but we didn't, like, we didn't quite like getting confused with them. And then there's another, the Baby Seal Club in Perth. Um, and the main, actually, the main reason is that we just re had a realization the name is really stupid, and um, <laughs> we started off as a bit of a, like it was just a bit of a joke, a bit of a play on words, and then there's some people that have been offended. Got some and threats, yeah. Mm. Anyway, so yeah, we, the last week we've kind of um, been, it's been, there's been some heated discussions and some tears, and some some people have quit the band, and because <laughs> and, you know, we were going to change our name, something different altogether, but then we decided like we don't want to completely start afresh. So seals is a nice progression from uh, from the, the baby seal club. It's just a, it's just the next step. So it's shorter, short and sweet. Yeah, because we, we worked out that kids these days don't really have much of an attention span. So by the time you get to the third syllable, they're, they're already onto something oh, yeah. else. They're already Definitely. playing their Xboxes or whatever. Definitely. So seals is just there, nice and short. So have you got a new single coming out with a new name? We do, yeah. yeah. What's so the name of the single? It's long, slow summer. There's yeah, another exclusive. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I only need to shorten that as well, actually. Oh, that's, that's yeah. a long... Slow. I need to slow. It's five times as long as our band name. <laughs> no, that's coming out on... Um, there's an EP called Castaways, uh, yep. which we're releasing in June, June 17th, at the zoo, <laughs> where we've just played. Um, <laughs> so that's our follow-up to Paradise, which we released at the start of... Last, last year. Last year. So it's our second CD, so we're pretty excited. Uh, Ewan, uh, what inspired you guys to make music together? I've always, always felt a uh, kind of need to make and play music. And I'm not classically trained, and none of us are. And I don't think we necessarily oh, yeah. have any... Oh, really? Yeah. Wow, I didn't show I've playing <laughs> <laughs> But I've always, uh, always liked music to the point where I wasn't happy just to listen to it, and I wanted to have a go at making it myself. And I don't think I necessarily have a, a right to do that. I don't think I'm, you know, I have the virtuosic skill that means I'm someone that should be making music but I just can't stop myself I just absolutely love doing it so Dimity how did you become a seal oh okay the real story <laughs> make one up no, tell the real <laughs> no, story it's better the real story is that um I during the day work as an economist and there was a nice young man who who was my shit kicker <laughs> oh. his name was Andrew Churchill <laughs> Saying, I believe it's called Ghostbusters. He was in a band, and I was a big fan of the band. I'd listen to Paradise all the time and come to gigs, and yeah, I really liked the guys, and we kind of became friends and stuff. And yeah, and then it didn't work out with their last keyboard player, and they eventually asked me, and I didn't know if I could do it or not because I've only ever played piano, and gave it a crack, and it was awesome, and I love it. And yeah. it's been a few big months for you guys. You've picked, you've hooked up with uh, <laughs> Sydney-based booking agent. Big tree eyes? Indeed, How do you yeah, guys hook yeah. up with them? Uh, well, I suppose physically we haven't actually done the hookup. We haven't Blair's, Blair's organised it. It's all, been, it's all been smoke and mirrors so far. We've, we've heard about <laughs> these guys. And we, we, we know they're real because they've got a website, but we've not actually <laughs> not actually seen them in the flesh yet. So it could be, I don't know, we'll have to see, see Blair get the bottom of it. It could be like Santa. <laughs> yeah. What about the singles on the Quicksilver Pro? What, what about that? And you got three tracks wow, on there. Yeah, that was, that was probably the best, the best moment because 
Um, Nick and I are surfers, we surf for a long time. And I've surfed before, man. Yeah, yeah. Andy's probably the best surfer. Any good? No, it's shocking, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My dad's a surfer as well, actually, and it was, he, uh, he gave me a text message um, saying that he was watching it on the internet and our song was the, the backing track for the final with Kelly Slater. Taj Burrow and he was, okay. was probably the proudest he's ever been of me. More so than when I finished you graduated. Uni in school. <laughs> so which 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 song was it? Uh, Death Ray. Yep. And then actually last night um, I was watching One HD, having a quiet Wednesday night in, and it was on the TV, which is better than the internet. So you guys are going to the UK. Yeah. Yeah. July. July. Yeah. Yep. I'm going earlier just to. I'm going to in late June just to kind of warn everyone what to expect. <laughs> yeah. These guys are arriving Prepare. early June, yeah. <laughs> but tell us about the tour you got coming up. Uh, Dim, what can you tell us about oh, the tour? Here she is. Yeah. Um, we're starting in Scotland and we're moving down. Um, we've got a whole heap of stuff that we're going to be doing, whole, lots of different things. Hopefully, we'll do the typical gigs and we've got some pretty exciting ones lined up and hopefully we'll do some other stuff like maybe a bit of guerrilla action I don't know Gorilla <laughs> see action. what happens yeah. <laughs> Playing with you and old band actually. Yeah. Yeah, we don't. Fun. We don't. We're not being cloud control or Megan Washington going over there trying to crack the UK. It's more that Ewan has to. Um, he's, he's going home a for a few weddings and stuff. So <laughs> he's like, why don't you guys come come with me and we'll do a tour with my old band and and yeah. off we go. But yeah, even okay. so, Blair's yeah. gone off and just. Oh he's, yeah. He's booked a thousand shows, so we're really. You're excited. Really yeah, yeah. We we basically blocked out three or four weeks where he's playing every night or every second night. Um, through like Northern England, a couple of shows yep. in London, a couple of shows uh, where we got Edinburgh and Glasgow. And, uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, on the tube, like you said. Has your geography? <laughs> no, idea. <laughs> no idea. They're all really close together. You'll be amazed. And what's coming up for Seals for the rest of 2011 after the tour? Uh, after that, I mean, we're we're assuming. I mean, it's not 100% locked in, but we're pretty sure by the time we do a UK tour, we will be like proper bona fide rock stars and famous. So. Yep. Um, we'll come back just to be people waiting at the airport and so on, screaming like the yeah. placards and stuff. And we'll probably get an Aria. Caparazzi. Yeah. Aria. <laughs> but yeah. A Brit it, award? Maybe. <laughs> supposing none of that happens, <laughs> uh, we're just going to go right ahead anyway and record an album that should be Good finished stuff. early 2012. We'll have and hopefully our first shows in Sydney and Melbourne. Yeah, get it, get, get outside. Uh, SEQ as Andy called it before and you and had to ask what SEQ was. So. <laughs> no, no. South East Queensland. Yeah. Um, yeah, and this time, yeah, the album will be, uh, we're going to go into a studio and do it for real. Brilliant. Guys, uh, thank you for joining me tonight on Triple A Backstage and um, all the best for your UK tour. Thank you, thank you Matt. Cheers. Thank you.